with each little seed of action, uh, there is always, as long as the soil is fertile, there is always a plant that has the ability to grow, uh, which will support uh, others and feed uh, our communities uh, as a whole. We're really blessed and honored to be able to host this event um, in honor of Ruby Bridges. Um, the, the work that she did walking to school as an act of bravery and courage to dismantle systems of oppression and uh, racism. Um, we are honored to walk in her footsteps literally uh, this morning. And so um, we are going to be walking after her. And I just want you all to think about as you're walking to school how even walking to school in the morning can be an act of bravery and courage. And so, um, think about that, and as we do that work this morning, consider the, the legacy that we're following behind. Just as you go, out, go out about your day and walk around school, um, we're going to be doing that work throughout the day and throughout the year. Well, it's our first walk to school to commemorate Ruby Bridges' walk to school and to make students aware of the message that a safe walk to school is something that's really important and not necessarily a given for a lot of kids. And I think for middle school kids, it's something we continually practice, that school's a safe place, school's a place where we learn and where we accept everybody. So any way we can do it, like a walk to school, a lesson, anything like that is something we want to have opportunities for our kids. She took that first step, that first step towards integration, that first step towards uh, a unified and uh, equal front that, that was going to disrupt the systems of white supremacy that existed within our schools. The courage that it is that she displayed that day with walking to schools are the same courages that the students take and embody with entering their classes. The same steps, the same courage, the same uh, honor to legacy that it is that the students will take with engaging within their work and then engaging within their society in order to create uh, a just system that can truly support uh, the growth and the development and the success of us all as a collective, but specifically for those of us who uh, are furthest from educational justice in Seattle Public Schools.